Hey folks, AJ here. We're back at my famous workbench. Today we're highlighting a control panel that was commonly used by Max and Pearl over the years in their variable speed and their luxury and whirlpool tubs. The original panel usually looked something like this, had a more oval look to it, had a trim plate on it like this. The new style now comes in a rectangle and it's a lot more modern looking. It also comes with a trim plate. The trim plate only comes in white and it's a two-way, double-way stick tape on the back that you'll apply it to your bathtub. Okay, there is a difference between the overlay on the new control panels versus the old control panels. The old control panel overlays are no longer being made, but the software is still the same, but the overlays are different. For instance, the top right button would be for the light for a Max controller. The top right button is still gonna turn on the light, but the overlay shows for a back jet. So disregard what the overlay says, it's still gonna operate the way it originally did in your tub. Let me demonstrate that to you right now. Okay, I have this set for configuration six. That's a variable speed and a light. The light button is the top right. It's flashing to let you know that you could activate the light if you wanted to, the top right button. But you can see that it, the symbol is a person laying down in a tub, which represents back or neck jets. So that's not gonna be the case. I hit the top right button and I can turn my light on. I hit it again and I'm changing my light show every time I hit the button. So in summary, a lot of times you're gonna disregard what's on the overlay, what's being printed, and you're still gonna operate it the way you usually did in your old Max tub where your buttons were located. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to program this top side controller through the 33 different configurations or 33 different combinations that this controller can operate in all the different combinations of tubs, the way tubs were built by Max and Pearl, whether it be a variable speed pump, variable speed pump with a blower, variable speed pump with a light and a blower, waterfall, two pumps, two lights. There's 33 different configurations that this controller can operate. It comes pre-programmed from the factory in configuration one. When you initiate power, it's gonna come up C01 for configuration one. When you first initiate power, you're gonna see the three dashes, that's normal. And there it is, C01 for configuration one. After about 60 seconds, you're gonna see the top left button start to flash like it is, that's the clock button. So you can set the clock. All right now it's set for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of use, the pump will turn off by itself. Now the button next to it is now flashing. That is your variable speed pump button. There you can see when you hit it first, it comes on speed six. If I press and hold this button, it's gonna diminish the speed down Once you get past one, you're gonna go into the pulse mode, which is the wave mode. Okay, so that's for configuration one, the most popular configuration. Now I'm gonna show you how to change configurations on this touchpad control. To change configurations on this control panel, you're gonna first wanna unplug the control box, wait a minute, and then plug it back in. After you plug it in, you're gonna see the three dashes, and then as soon as you see that top left button light up, press and hold it. Now you're gonna see configuration one is flashing, Okay, and now we have the two buttons next to it. That is to scroll up and down through the sequence. So if I hit that far right button, we're actually going down in sequence. As you saw, there was 33 configurations. I go to this one here. Okay, I can go back to one. So you can scroll through all the configurations, okay, by pressing these two buttons to go up and down into the configuration that you need. At the end of this video, there's gonna be a document on the screen that's gonna show you what every configuration is for and how it operates. Okay, feel free to hit pause on that part of the video so you can get a good look at how this uh, control panel needs to be programmed for your tub. I'm gonna put it back on configuration one. After I set my configuration, I'm gonna hit the top left button again and it is now set for configuration one. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to recalibrate this control panel. First, you're gonna wanna unplug the control box. Wait about a minute, take your two thumbs and depress on the top two middle buttons of the control panel. While holding them down, plug in the control box. When power is initiated, immediately release your thumbs from the panel. You're gonna notice CAL comes up immediately. That's gonna tell you're in recalibration mode. Recalibration takes about a minute and a half to occur. It goes from CAL to a blank screen. Then it will show the software version of the computer chip on your controller. This one is software 95. Then it will show three dashes. Then the clock light will come on. And then the configuration setting will display. This one is set for configuration C01. And that's everything you need to know about this control panel used by Max and Pearl over the years. Be sure to like and share all of our videos and subscribe to our channel.